Afternoon YouTube. Look what I found the other day. This was in the back of the shed. It's probably been there a couple of years. Uh, we bought it uh, for an old car that had a rubbish battery and a high parasitic lo uh, load. Um, but in the last few years, three, possibly four, um, it's had no use whatsoever. And I have to admit, the charger for it has long gone. But when I dug it out, I looked at it and I thought, this has got pretty much everything on it that I've spent time and effort and money putting into the shed. It's got a convenient DC cigarette lighter, a light, a USB socket, uh, there's an air compressor on the back, obviously it's meant for your car, it's the power booster um, for jump starting your vehicle as well, but it's also got an inverter on it, that's 100 watts, presumably modified sine wave. But I haven't charged this for quite some time, and it must have a sealed lead acid battery in it, a 12 volt battery. And I wondered if I could resurrect it. So what I've done is I've got my old PWM charge controller and a cigarette lighter adapter. Got this from eBay, 89p. Fantastic value. Delivered. And I thought, and I put my multimeter in there and it's connected straight to the battery. There is a fuse actually in the side, uh, but other than that, it's connected straight to the battery. There's no switch on that. So if I plug that in and I turn that on, then you can see, hopefully, that we're connected to the battery. So my 10 watt monocrystalline panel on the roof isn't doing much. We are, I am overproducing electricity at the moment for my uh, deep cycle battery so I thought I'd repurpose it for a little while so I'll put a 2.1 5.5 DC plug on it and a socket on the charge controller there we go solar panel lights lit up and after a week this is working really well. The battery's fully charged. Um, so it's fantastic that I've been able to resurrect it, but I also thought it's the perfect solution for those starting out with a project like mine. A simple small solar panel on the ceiling, feeding into a charge controller, feeding into a portable power pack like this take your lights off in the shed off the load light uh, off the load on your charge controller charge up using a cigarette adapter which you can easily unplug so you can move it and you'll always be able to start your car thanks for watching give us a thumbs up if you can and subscribe somewhere down below